Burning hazards. Firefighters and paramedics see it all the time as they rush into a burning home or to a patient who's maybe having an, a, medical, a medical emergency. Sometimes they do have to face yet another battle. You know, fighting a possession obsession. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson live in Green Township with this story tonight. Karen. And my courting is not a new problem by any means, but it's one that crews here in Green Township recently ran into. And I'm talking about accumulations of items from the floor down to the ceiling. Wednesday afternoon, another medical call comes in at the Green Township Firehouse. Firefighters rush to their trucks and off they go. One problem they sometimes face on calls homeowners being hoarders. This is what crews had to face on a recent run. Our crews actually ended up shoveling some of the debris out of the way. Just to get to the patient. If someone's, for instance, a cardiac arrest, you know, four to six minutes can be the difference between life and death, and just getting to a person in that time can be difficult in these type of houses. Not to mention the dangers hoarders' houses pose to the firefighters. Normally, you know, we go into strange houses, they're full of smoke, it's already hard enough to get around, but now we're dealing with very narrow passages, and as you crawl through, things are falling on top of you. That's very dangerous. It's a problem firefighters in all communities are dealing with. Last month in Springboro, crews had to let a house belonging to a dentist burn because of his obsession with possessions. They discovered the person um, had excessive storage within his home. Uh, it made it complicated. They were not able to access many rooms uh, to conduct fire operations. No one was home at the time of this fire, but the amount of stuff these people save could have made it more difficult to be saved. And Green Township firefighters ask if you know of anyone, whether it's a family member or neighbor who is a hoarder, to call the fire department and let them know. It's not to report these people, but it's so firefighters can enter it into their database. That way, if they get called to an emergency at the house, they can be given a heads up and kind of know what they're in for before they get there. Reporting live tonight in Green Township, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thanks a lot. This recent situation in Green Township is being addressed by the fire marshal and the health department.